Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see what is subnetting and how to calculate total number of subnets and how to calculate total number of IP addresses in every subnets and how to calculate total number of usable IP addresses in every subnets and how to find network ID and broadcast ID in every subnet and how to find first and last host IP address of the subnet. What is subnetting? Subnetting is dividing larger networks into multiple smaller networks based on our requirement. Before going into detail, we will see some basics of IP address classes. First, we will see the class A IP address. Uh, class A IP address will range from 1 to 126 and default subnet mask is 255.0.0.0 then the CADR value is class 8. What is this CADR value? Classless inter-domain routing this is the total number of network bits. As all of us know IP address is the 32 bit value which is having, which is further divided into four blocks. Those blocks are called octets. Octet 1, octet 2, then octet 3, octet 4. Each person is having the 8 bits. Here we can see each person is having the 8 bits. And mainly it is divided as, this IP address is divided as network bits and host bits. So this 8 represents total number of network bits. For A, it is a 8 bits. Okay. Okay. Next, we will see class B. Class B IP address starts from 127 to 191 and default subnet mask is 255.255.0.0 and CDR value is 16. That means total number of network bits are 16 bits. Okay, next we will go into class C. Class C IP addresses starts from 192 to 223. Default subnet mask is 255, 255, 255.0. The CADR value is 24. So what it means? It is having 24 bits of network bits. It is having 24 number network bits. Now we will see this example. This is IP address, class C IP address 192, 168.1.0 slash 24. This is the de default subnet uh, for this class C IP address is 255, 255, 255.0. So this CDR value is 24 bits. So 24 bits, uh, CDR value is 24. So the total number of network bits for this IP address is 24. That's why we have written here 24. Normally network should be written as binary ones and host bits should be written as binary zeros. Uh, when we count the value for the binary, it should be start from right to left. We should use the two power table. So it should start from two power zero, two power one, until 2 power 8. I have written the place value above that. So 2 power 0 is 1, 2 power 1 is 2, and 2 power 7 is 128. So uh, finally, we have to add the value for each octet. Each octet is the 8-bit value. So if you see the place value for this network bit, that is 1. Here, if you see the network val bit value for this location, it is 8 and finally this location it is uh, value is 128 so we have to add all the value of the uh, octet bits so it counts as 255 if for this second octet 255 that octet 255 the host bit octet it is binary zero so value will be the zero so the subnet marks so the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. 255 
we will see one more example here the ip address is 192.168.1.0 slash 26 this is class c ip address so default subnet mask is 255 255.255.0 .255 so total number of default network bits are 24 bits but here we are having 26 bits so what we have to do we have to borrow do two bits from the host uh, host bits so i write i have written the subnet uh, mask here in binary format with 26 bits now we will see how many number of subnets can be created from this network uh, the formula is for total number of subnets root to the power of n the formula is two to the power of n the n is the subnet bit that is the number of bits borrowed from post bits this is these two bits are the already we have borrowed from post bits so n is two so two to the power two the answer is four so from this subnet mask we can create four number of subnets from here now we will see total number of ip addresses from each and every block the formula is 2 to the power of h h is the total number of host bits the remaining host bits are 6 we are having only 6 bits so 2 to the power 6 uh, the answer is 64 so the block size for every subnet is 64 what is means every subnet is having 64 ip address now we will see total number of hosts the formula is 2 to the power h minus 2. Here why we have to subtract this 2? Because the total number of uh, IP addresses is already having one IP address for network ID and one IP address for broadcast ID. So these two IP addresses should be subtracted from the total number of IP addresses so that we can assign these IP addresses to the available endpoints and hosts. So total number of hosts is 2, 2 to the power of 6 minus 2, that is 62. Next, we have to find the network ID and broadcast ID for all the four networks. Our total number of subnets are 4. So in this table, I have written the subnet numbers 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we have to find the network ID. Network ID is the first IP address after every uh, subnet here 192.168.1.0 is the first ip address so then to find the network id for the second subnet what we have to do we have to add the total number of ip addresses that is our block size so every ip address every subnet is having 64 ip address so we have to add 64 so it will be 1.6 1.64 then for the third subnet we have to add 64 again 1.128 the fourth subnet we have to add the same way now we already written the network id now we will find the broadcast id for the all four subnet uh, what is broadcast id broadcast id is the last ip address in the network subnet network id is first ip address of the subnet Broadcast ID is last IP address of the subnet. To find the last IP address, what we have to do? We have to subtract one from the next network ID. So next network ID is 64. So we have to do, we have to subtract one from the network ID. Then 1.63. The same way we have to subtract one from the uh, consecutive network id 127 then for third it is 191 for fourth it will be 255 okay now we so far we have find a network id and broadcast id for all the four uh, subnets now we have to find the usable ip address range uh, the ip addresses it is available between network id and broadcast id are the usable, usable IP address. That's I, uh, that IP address we can assign for host. So what is the first uh, host IP address? First host IP address will be the next IP address of 
network ID. So what we have to do, we have to add one to the network ID. Our first subnet network ID is 1.0. So if you add one to this network ID, it will be 1.1. The same way for the next subnet, it will be 1.0. Sorry, before that, we will write the last host IP address. For to find the last last host IP address, we have to subtract one from the broadcast ID. So it will be the previous IP address of broadcast ID. So if you subtract one from this, you will get 63 on 1.63. Sorry, 1.62. Uh, the same way we have to find first host IP address and last host IP address for remaining subnets. Okay, now we will write for next first host IP address. We have to add one to the network ID. For last uh, host IP address, we have to subtract one. 127, 126. The same way I'll write it for third subnet. And now I'll write it for fourth subnet. Okay. This is how we have to find network ID, broadcast ID, and first host IP address and last host IP address for every subnet. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.